So, you want to get as close to the moon as possible without leaving Earth? Easy! Hop on a plane to Ecuador and climb Mount Chimborazo. I know, it may sound weird, but hear me out. Now, Everest is the tallest mountain when you're measuring from sea level. But Chimborazo's peak is actually the closest spot on Earth to the moon. Here's the physics behind it. Mount Everest is over 29,000 feet tall, and Chimborazo is only around 20,000 feet. But the secret lies in how far they are from the Earth's core. You see, Earth is not a perfect sphere. It's chubby in the middle, and slightly squished at the top and the bottom. The chubby part in the middle is called the equator. FYI, the country Ecuador actually translates to equator in Spanish. Now you know. The mountain we're talking about, Chimborazo, is located a few degrees from the equator line. So since the squishy sphere is chubbier in the middle part, Chimborazo's peak sticks out farther into space. This means that if you hike all the way up to this mountain's peak, you'll be a smidge closer to the moon than if you hike all the way up Mount Everest. In the North Sea, off the coast of England, there's a tiny platform bobbing around, roughly the size of two tennis courts. You might think it's an oil platform, but this is Sealand, the world's tiniest country. The Ruffs Tower platform was built during the first half of the 20th century as a fort to protect English ships. Jump to the 1960s, when a guy named Paddy Roy Bates decided to claim this old fort as his own country, naming it the Principality of Sealand. Paddy gave his country everything it deserved – a national flag, currency, a constitution, stamps, and a hoisting swing system. That's how you get into the country, by the way, hoisted all the way up to the upper part of the platform. Today, this micronation is headed by ruling monarch Michael Bates, who is a member of the country's self-proclaimed royalty. I know, right, why wait in line for the British throne? The nation has its own fan club who cheer for the country's national soccer club. Their team competes in international tournaments, where they usually play with other tiny nations. Although Sealand only has one official resident as of right now, players from other countries join to help out their soccer team. One of the country's supporters also placed a Sealand flag on top of Mount Everest. Having your kitchen in one country and your living room in another well, this is the daily reality for some locals in Barlet. In this town, the border between Belgium and the Netherlands doesn't just run along streets, it slices right through buildings. So to navigate this setup, a rule was made that a house's nationality is determined where its front door is located. But this solution created its own problems. There's a house where the front door is exactly on the border, giving it two addresses – one in Belgium and one in the Netherlands. The owners of this house were given a unique opportunity. They could choose which country they'd like to get their utilities from, like gas and water. And you guessed it, they picked the country where the stuff was cheaper, in this case, Belgium. Down in Senegal, Africa, there's a lake that looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. About 18 miles north of the capital, Dakar, you'll find Lake Retpa, also known as La Rosa. This lake is famous for its bright pink water. Yes, it really is pink, and you can even take a swim if you're up for it. But be prepared, the water is super salty, one of the saltiest lakes in the world with salt levels over 40%. The pink color comes from a species of tiny algae. These algae produce red pigments that reflect sunlight, giving the lake its unique shade. If you want to see the lake at its brightest pink, visit during the dry season from November to June. The rainwater during other times of the year can wash away some of the color. Oh, by the way, there are other pink lakes around the world, like Lake Hillier in Western Australia and Lake Natron in Tanzania. So there's a hill that seems to be on fire all the time. Located in the Arctic region of Canada, the smoking hills are a truly unique sight on Earth. Some of the minerals found here are so rare that they've only been spotted on Mars. For at least a couple of hundred years, the ground here has been smoking continuously. At first, explorers thought this was due to an active volcano. But it turns out the smoke comes from something else. The soil in the smoking hills contains sulfur and coal, and when these materials mix with oxygen, they can spontaneously catch fire and keep on burning. 
but don't get any adventurous ideas about visiting. The environment here is extremely harsh, there's toxic smoke, and the temperatures can be dangerously high. So I'd try Orlando. New Zealand is famous for its stunning landscapes, but it also has a hidden treasure underground. Deep in some caves in the country's North Island, you can find a mesmerizing natural wonder. To see it, you'll need to go down about 150 feet in a series of dark, twisting caves. As you go deeper, you'll enter complete darkness until you reach the cave ceilings, which are lined with tiny glowing creatures. These are New Zealand's native glowworms, which are the larvae of a special type of fungus gnat found only in this country. They shine a bright blue light to attract prey. If you get a chance to tour these caves, it feels like floating through a galaxy, with thousands of these living stars sparkling above and their glow reflecting in the water beneath your boat. It's an incredible sight, like stepping into a magical glowing world. Mexico is home to one of the most amazing caves in the world, called the Cave of Crystals. If you think you've seen big crystals before, wait until you see these. In around 1910, miners in the town of Naka Chihuahua – yeah, like the dog – discovered a cave full of clear selenite crystals. But it wasn't until 90 years later that they found an even more incredible cave filled with enormous crystals, some as long as 39 feet and weighing up to 55 tons. Scientists believe that 26 million years ago, give or take, hot, mineral-rich water filled this cave, allowing these huge crystals to grow. The Nika crystals are thought to be the biggest in the world, making people standing next to them look teeny in comparison. However, exploring the cave isn't easy. Inside temperatures reach 136 degrees Fahrenheit. Even with protection, people can only stay inside for 20 to 30 minutes. It's an extraordinary place, but not exactly a comfortable one for humans. Mauritius is famous for its beautiful beaches and clear blue waters. But it also has a stunning optical illusion at its southwest corner that looks like an underwater waterfall. Even though it seems like water is flowing down into the ocean, what you're actually seeing is a trick of the light and the seafloor. The island is on an ocean shelf that's only about 500 feet deep, but just beyond the edge, it drops down to 2.5 miles deep. This drop creates the illusion of a waterfall as currents push sand and particles over the edge, making it look like water is cascading down. So while it's not a real underwater waterfall, it's definitely a cool sight to see from a boat. Now here's a place that might either give you chills or leave you in awe, depending on when you visit. Near the small town of Grafino in Poland, there's a forest of pine trees with a strange twist. They're all bent at their bases. During the day, these trees with their sharp 90-degree curves look fascinating and even a bit whimsical. You might even find a comfortable spot to sit on if you're having a picnic. But visit the crooked forest at night and it takes on a whole different vibe. A thin layer of fog hangs around, making the forest look eerie and a bit spooky. Plus, scientists still don't know why, for sure, the trees are bent like this. So, would you prefer to see it in the bright light of day or the mysterious dark of night? Ooh. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.